So I just wanted to take you through the boring thing that I do with a lot of games where we just go through the menu. This is on PS5, where I just kind of show you stuff that you may not know. We've got accessibility presets where you can just kind of go into these sections and then change whatever it is you want, or you can just do them individually through here. So I'll go from the top to the bottom here. So for gameplay, what's really cool is you can pinpoint enemy difficulty, story, regular, challenging, or hard. Same thing with player health, wanted difficulty, want auto perfect cooling of your blaster, Movement always, sprint, fall protection on. Again, if I'm going too fast, there's the description on the right-hand side. Do you want explorer mode? Where um, it removes the guiding color for the navigational elements of the world. Screen shake, viewing angle. Now, this is really cool because I'm, I'm into options, literally. The more you have them, the better. You see what it does there? So I just leave it at the default. And then when aiming... Now, it doesn't always quite turn her character that way, but but it can in some instances, but I do find it a bit jarring when it's, uh, you're walking like this, then all of a sudden, ba-boom, it's just completely, like, zoomed out. But you can do that. This is something to do with the card game. I don't even really look at this, to be honest. Uh, but I'm just going to show you anyways, really quick. I don't want this video to be too long. The lock-picking rhythm challenge. Uh, you can turn that on, on, on and off. Whether lockpicking should have a rhythm-based challenge or be simplified off. The beat is disabled. Use your data spike until the lock is simply picked. Uh, then you could change the difficulty. Do you want visual cues? Same thing with the slicing. The computer hacking stuff that you got to do. Do you want default attempts? Do you want more attempts? Do you want numbers or symbols? You want street food challenges. I don't even really know what those are. Fast talk, that's on by default once unlocked. Enable or disable case fast talk ability. Fast talk time challenge. Nyx prompts, that's your little pet. Uh, whether Nyx actions require a prompt to complete them or auto completes. Just like that. <laughs> then the space difficulty when flying your starship into objects, does it cause damage? These are all done by default. Ion stun, whether the ion damage causes your starship to be stunned. Auto throttle in pursuit mode. Uh, actually, I don't think I want auto throttle. I think, I think I'll do that on my own. Thank you very much. So that's everything for the gameplay. The controls. You know, the inverted stuff. Aim assist. Show controller layout. Okay. To change it. All the different ones there. Advanced controls. Aiming sensitivity. These are my settings. Hip fire. That's when your gun is out and you're not aiming. That's just the look when your gun's holstered. And then that's your like your little bike. And these numbers for me are good on PlayStation. Uh, change hold actions to press or just a button. So that's pretty good for sensitivity. Inner dead zone, outer dead zone, like that's what I'm talking about. You want the motion sensor, sensitivity for it, the smoothing strength of everything. Aiming type, swap ping objective and nick sense. The vibration intensity, crank it up. Oh, it's all, it's all the way up. Just the basic stuff there for the vibration, the good vibrations. Starship aim assist, ship control sensitivity, pursuit mode, speed boost, shooting, starship horizon auto align, uh, display and graphics, screen calibration, that's for the, uh, the HDR, the peak, the UI, all that fun stuff, high contrast mode if you want to do that. See how it just... Yeah. Anyways, a lot of, lot of accessibility options. Do you want cinematic with the black borders or fill the screen? Do you want quality or performance? I find qu performance is always better. Motion blur intensity. Uh, maybe I'll turn that down a bit. Camera motion blur. 
intensity per, per object motion blur. Film grain, these were added with the latest update. Whether you want that on or off in chromatic aberration. Then user interface, the text size, simpler fonts. I don't know what that means. Oh, simpler font, like literally simpler fonts. Not so like big and bulky. I actually kind of prefer that. Capitalized keywords. Uh, sure, why not? Colorblind, increased contrast, HUD visibility. You know, the whole idea, you could change how big they are. Um, actually, I don't mind that. HUD background. Ah, okay, that makes it a little bit easier to see. That's cool. The player compass, the center dot. I actually like the dot, to be honest. That's just my thing. Icon or a dot for that. The Nick quick interaction. Uh, I kind of like the bug. Who knows? The ping, always. Distance unit, metric, imperial. Control reminders. Threat sense, enemy state icons. Rotate the map to player view. Menu narration, those are always so annoying. Language and subtitles. We can have English, Francais, Espanol. Ah, to the bay with the Brazilian Portuguese, which is actually where some of my really good dear friends are moving back to in a couple of days from Canada. And this, English, Francais. Alors, sous-titres de voix. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Chupame me cazzo grande, le coco lo sporgo video di puta. Okay, seriously, I got to stop doing that. Portuguese, Brazilio. All right. Speech subtitles, background color, all that fun stuff. And then the audio focus mode, whether to play all sounds or to hide the less important sounds to let you focus on the ones that are critical. Audio description. What's happening in visually major cinematics, audio mix, the dynamic range, the music frequency. I'm going to do headphones myself. I turned down the music volume a bit. Good for me. Hit feedback volume, the volume of the feedback that your hits. Path, path. path. Yeah, don't ask. Uh, it's, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a good volume. That's the controller speaker volume. I don't want none of my sound coming out of there because I have my headphones in anyways. I don't want that shit coming out of there. Uh, and I feel like that's pretty much it. Eight minutes of just this bullshit. Thumbs up as always. If you like the video, it does greatly help. Support the channel with the algorithm. And trying so desperately to make me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half. I'll twist it. I'll break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And if I'm lucky, just maybe, I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.